Hey guys, this is Primate Gaming and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all enjoying your Christmas Eve. And in this video, we are going to be, be counting down the top 12 most wanted things in the Lumion Legacy community. This is our wish list to Santa. Orlando in this case. Number one is Fly, something that a lot of people have always wanted in Lumion Legacy. But, since the Christmas event has started, a lot of people want it even more now. So I decided to add, add this to our wish list. Also, this is not my opinion. This is everybody else's. And honestly, there's something I want even more. So let's move on to that. Number two is hoverboards. Something that when I played Pokemon Brick Bronze, I actually never got to use because I never made it past the fourth gym, <laughs> which was kind of sad, but. So I really want to try out hoverboards. That's something that I want to see. Me. And some other people, actually. Laguna Lake and Fossils. Pokemon Brick Bonds, we actually did have fossils, so, but they were Pokemon, so I want to see what they're going to do in Lumen Legacy for Laguna Lake, because that was the main focus of Laguna Lake, to get fossils and evolution stones, so, what are they going to do now, and hopefully they keep it up. Number four is more ancient types because everybody loves Opsidragon or Opsidragon. I call him Opsidragon, but you might call him Opsidragon, I don't care. Or Opsidragon. But everybody loves him, so. And it's, he's like one of everybody's favorite lemons, so. I, I, and some of people just really want to see what, what else they could do with ancient types because they seem to be like the dragon types of Lumen Legacy. Number five is Gamma Gleamings, something that everybody wants to learn more about, because we basically know nothing. And right now, all the Gleamings that are in the game so far are just regular Alpha Gleamings. So, what we want to learn more about is what the whole story behind Gamma Gleamings is, how did it happen? Number six is trains, something that I personally do not really want, but I have some people on the games and they randomly come up with trains, which kind of would actually suit Lumion Legacy as Lumion Legacy, the region is kind of like futuristic and technological with like discs and uh, the whole upgraded centers and stuff. Number seven, late game content. This is something that is kind of pretty far-fetched as the devs have a while ago said that they were planning on making more games, but it's still a possibility. And most of us probably want it, even though we will probably end up just playing the new games instead of this, it's, out, it's gonna be outdated either way. Number eight, randomizer mode. This is kind of something that, well, this is probably, even though I said that the previous one was more far-fetched, this is probably the most far-fetched as there's only gonna be like 193 lumens in the game compared to like Pokemon that had like 700. So what's gonna be the point of this? But it's a good idea and I did have fun with randomizer mode. Number 9 is more lore about corrupt Lumions because as of right now, we've only like the only story corrupt Lumions have been the Ikazune and the Duskit and like they haven't even said anything about them that much. They're just like, oh it's corrupt then, oh. And like they don't even say anything about like finding them in the wild or anything. And it's really weird, so I personally do really want to find some more info about the corrupts. 
Okay, so you're probably wondering what I mean by Megas, but basically, like in Pokemon, they have a feature, Pokemon has a feature for like almost every new game, and it'd be really interesting if Lumion Legacy had like their own special feature, like the Dynamax of Lumion Legacy, or the Mega Evolution of Zemus, like something special, something that separates Lumion Legacy from all those other games out there, and Pokemon. Okay, so, special evolution methods, you guys might not understand what I'm talking about, but in Pokemon, there's many ways to evolve your Pokemon, not just leveling them up or just feeding them random fruit, like in, uh, I mean, like I said, they've already came out with a special way, like evolving Gekko with the Thunder Fruit, but I feel like they could do a lot more special ways, like, Maybe even like stone, stone. What am I saying? Stone evolutions, but like different. Like maybe fruit evolutions. <laughs> they use fruit, like the thunder fruit, to evolve or something. And then like maybe they could do like friendship and happiness and blah 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 blah. Or they could go like crazy, like sword and shield, and not need to get like a million critical hits in one battle. And finally, number twelve. The easier, easier item obtaining methods, which we all want because we all want easier ways to get Thunderfruit to evolve our Geckos and the Eliguanas and our Gleaming Geckos. Or we all want the Mystic One for our like ridiculously OP, shotching, competitive battling. So yeah, this could come in handy, you know. Alright guys, this may come as a surprise to you, but guess what? There's a bonus! I guess you weren't expecting it, but here's the bonus! Alright now, don't come to kill me, but... I personally want to see a little more creativity put into the game, because... As of right now, really all they've done is just create their own new Lumions, new characters, corrupts so-called gleamings, gamma gleams, special, different gleamings, and like, I mean, that, that's good and all, and of course the thunder fruit, but like, based other than that, like, the, all the battle mechanics, they, they're, other than the energy cost, they've just been like, taking stuff from Pokemon, and I think that, like, eventually they're gonna have to move on and forget about Pokemon, honestly. Well, guys, that's it for my wish list. I personally want to know what's on your wish list, so let me know down in the comments. And uh, if you agree with uh, most of the stuff on this list, then feel free to leave a like. And if you don't, then just leave a dislike. Just let me know your opinion. That's all that matters. I just want you guys to speak your mind. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good day and enjoy your Christmas because... Almost here, and I'm really excited. And if you don't celebrate Christmas and enjoy your Kwanzaa or Hanukkah, and just have a have a good December. And I hope you guys enjoy your January too. This is a good way to end off 2019, and I hope we see some good things in the future of Lumion Legacy. See you 2020.